Well, here I am at the train tracks I just crossed. I'm walking by foot and uh, we'll see here in a second. Here it comes. Okay. Canadian Nash, Canadian Pacific, sorry. Two engines, freight cars. So, and I was just across. I was right beside the light pole and all of a sudden it went off. Talk about perfect timing and I'm heading off uh, to go meet up with a family member at a Timmy's or Tim Hortons for Restia's. Um, not that we're staying there long, we're going somewhere else, but just meeting location. And it's about a 30 minute walk from my house to where I'm going. I just thought I'd uh, show this because a lot of uh, is, uh, you know, doing train, rail, videos. I just figured I'd show you this, since I happen to be this close, right? But you see it, a couple of CN uh, car, truck, uh, low dirt, wood, glass, usually wood on those flatbed ones, and then the gravel ones, right? Sand, silica. Uh, a few of these are uh, a few other powdered good ones, that there, black ones are a tanker, so usually crude oil or refined oil, uh, a couple other things, you know, and this is just within the neighborhood, so like I said, if I look down that way, the direction the train's going, about maybe uh, 200 meters or about 150 yards, uh, is about where I live on the south side, I'm on the north side of the track right now. But there's, uh, you know, I live on the south side of the street and the north side, the house is back right onto, uh, there are some shipping containers. They're coming through. Now this particular train uh, could have came up from northern parts of Georgian Bay, Lake Huron, okay, northern of the, north part of the Great Lakes. Could have even came, you know, from BC and come this way. But this is just to show you. I mean, it's not a short train by any means, but hey. It's probably a good 50, 60 cars, maybe. I can't see the end because of where I'm standing, but I got, uh, you know, as you see here, and uh, I guess it's a farmer's field still. I don't know. Could be doing wheat. Oh, some really flammable, dangerous uh, tanks on there saw the hazmat uh, signs so who knows what they were a couple other uh, empty sea containers or shipping containers so we get some of our stuff where I work comes in a 53 foot long uh, shipping container has the company's uh, the main brand name of the company's logo on the, the colored red damn things are always hot when they come Oh, another hazmat one. I don't know what's in that one. It could be oil, uh, you know, for cars and everything else. Or it could be uh, even veg like vegetable oil or cooking oil or some other liquid chemical. And that's the end of it now, right? We don't use cabooses. Just a little red light at the end to say, that's it. Take care, all.